Hey, what's going on out there? I, uh, am, I'm so excited to see you and I'm excited to do this video of Codfish, Fishman's Drum and Bass. And uh, it's been a long time since I've been doing beatboxing videos, but there's one recently I did that I would ask you to check out. I don't ever ask people to check out videos because, well, I don't ask people to do things that I wouldn't. And I really, I never check out a video when someone asks me. I just don't, it's just the reality of it. However, MB14, getting the golden buzzer, I. Uh, it didn't have his name in the title, so I thought it was some random beatboxer getting a golden buzzer. And so my mind gets blown when I realize it's MB14 and I realized that the judges have no clue who MB14 is. I know this is Codfish's video, but hopefully the community has enough love that it's okay if I'm giving love to someone else. Because these guys are, these are the best, you know? So anyways, I was touched by the MB14 video. At one moment, if you catch it, I'm almost about to tear up. I don't, but I, get, I come close. Just saying, like, I think you, you know, you guys are so loyal to the community. You don't have to be loyal to me, but I think you would just like watching the, the video. I'll try to post a, a link or something. Try to, I'll try. Anyways, Codfish, Fishman's drum and bass. As is typical, I am watching the whole video with no edits, no cuts, no altered sound, but depending on copyright, I may have to alter it in post-production. Let's go. Whoa, 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 hold on. He's already doing something pretty fucking cool. Hold on. Let me hear it again. It's the bass to the... He goes, da, 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 da. He's in the bass. Da, 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 da. But then on the last note, he switches to the other uh, vocalization. And so he does, yeah, so it's like uh, three notes on either side. And then he he switches on the third note. Da 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 ba bum bum. And he switches his vocalization. That's pretty fucking cool. Usually I'm used to beatboxers just drastically jumping um, pitch wise when they change their vocalization. Like they change to the bass, they change to the melody, they change to the snare. But he's actually blending them. It's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I guess I might as well point out the obvious because people are like, you're a musician, you're not talking about it. So you got, you got the, uh, da, 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 which he repeated two or three times. And then the third or fourth time he goes up further in the notes. And this last time he went up further and then came back down. So he's a little theme and repetition. I'm gonna call it a uh, call and response. Call and res uh, look it up. <laughs> is he jumping an octave? Or is he just changing the tone so much it sounds like he's jumping? I should know if he's jumping an octave. Whoa! Wait, is he making two? He's making two notes at the same time. There it is. So I said, there it is, like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. There it is when he extended the run up and came back down, which he's only done like twice in the song so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Is that throat singing? Because it sounds like even his bass is slightly harmonized. Yeah, it sounds like he's either added a fourth or a fifth to it. Fourth and fifth are the same thing, just depends on which direction you go. Like C up to G is a fifth, C down to G is a fourth. So it just depends on the direction. Is he circular breathing also? I'm used to horn player, wind players doing circular breathing. It feels like he's doing circular breathing, like he's actually creating a sound where he pushes air out and sucks in through his nose. <laughs> Oh, this is a good time, because I was thinking about it ever since the video started. Was his hair always black? And he definitely didn't have a mustache last time I saw him. Hey, I appreciate people changing up their looks. Makes me feel like I should fucking get my shit together. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking around because I'm thinking of the last note he's saying. He's repeating notes now. Like the actual pitches are being repeated in the middle. I think he's I think he's also doing a fourth or a fifth, holding it and then coming down. Whatever. You can go back and check it out. I'll go back too. Why not? Fuck it. Right there. I could be a minor third. No, it's just a half step. Oh, he might be bending it. I always think of Led Zeppelin when I hear that. Hold on, one last thing. Last, we gotta check these last notes. I think he went down to the major seven. He either went down to the major seven or the minor seven, I think. I mean, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Did I go too far? Right there, hold on, no. Da, da, da. That would be major seven. Dum, da, 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 dum. Was that it? Or did it go down? Yeah, 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 I think he did major seven. So he did this, he, he went, he went. Like wrong key? Sorry, I was in the wrong key. So he went, he went. So earlier on he's going. Right? And then bend it. And the last time, I like that. I like that. Let's fucking give it up. Give it up for fucking codfish, man. Oh, if you if you want to give extra fucks for why that's really cool is um in classical music and a lot of really formal types of music that lowered that that raised seven resolving that. Da -dum. Very typically, 
in classical music for hundreds and hundreds of years. That's how you declare the ending of a section. Um, usually it's with chords, right? So it's a, it's a one, I'll show you. So it'd be like a one chord. Two, five, seven. Oh, I need to get, can I get that? How do I get the, the, the raised seven in there? Oops, I should have thought this out before I started playing it. Wait, am I in the fuck, am I playing the wrong shit? Oh. So it's, a, it's a, sorry, it took me a second to get it there. It's this note. So let's add a bass note. Add full chords. That's like a, it declares the ending of phrases and sections. That little. And I love the fact that he didn't, at least if I was hearing correctly, he didn't do it at any other time in the, in the entire, because you could repeat it because it sounds cool, but I don't think he did it any other time. Could be wrong. Could be a misreading of this, but if he did it at just the end, he really marked the ending using a musical phrase that has been used to mark endings for, I don't know, 500 years. And that's pretty fucking cool to me. I'm gonna try to put videos over here and here, and uh, they probably are not videos you like, but I'm gonna try to put two, I think. I don't know. Feel free to check them out. You probably don't give a fuck. Don't worry about it if you don't, but I'm gonna try to put them over here somewhere. Sayonara, bitches.